should be just fine by Sunday. This water will all dry up. Batteries went dead, trying to get them charged back up. They're making laps though. Cooper loves a good mutter. Oh yeah. Carnage. Look at her. Oh yeah. Where's he going? Yeah. I think he just went around the block. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, what, how do you feel about our parking spot? fell over Mike. I'm fixing it for you but I think you're gonna have a dent. No, I didn't get it. But we're gonna have to come up with a different we're gonna have to come up with a different program here for the Ferrari. Because uh she ain't gonna stay. I don't know if anybody else that would do that to a platinum edition. It's the uh, night before uh, the bikes tomorrow. <clears throat> the pits look absolutely terrible, but believe me when I say the track's gonna be perfect tomorrow out in the woods. It's uh, just one of those things where just the, uh, oh, we lost our light. Generate. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's running rough. She's running rough. Anyway, yeah. Other than these pits right here, it's going to be pretty nice. So, looking forward to it. Taxi to the starting line. Pretty smart move. Not bad if you don't have a trailer. Uh -oh. hey. That's... hey, it's okay now. Huh? It's okay now. It is? Yeah. We're doing it? Oh, wait, but what about Oh, you? yeah. I'm ready to. No. We have 100% now. Uh -uh. Yep. Woohoo! Now, kids got cold weather gloves. <laughs> I don't know if we got the gloves. <laughs> yeah. We got the goggles. It's fine, Austin. Awesome. 
Okay. Thank, thank you, Casey. Thank you. So here we go with the super minis. I haven't really been narrating the vlogs in a while, but figured I'd go for it again um, this weekend. Probably a little bit shorter vlog than normal, but as you can see here, the uh, field section or the starting line section was super sloppy and muddy, but was no indication of how the woods were. The woods were actually in really good shape. Jacob Volan, Doc Smith, um, Brody Amos, who typically runs this class, he I believe had the championship wrapped up so he raced um he was going to race 150 bc in the am adult um race taking off here the 85 senior row again the woods the woods shaped up to be really good sam klein getting out front there they had a really good battle the whole race um, those top three guys there. This is your 85 junior. Yeah, there's Ryder. Again, the first couple turns and the field sections were pretty hard, but the woods shaped up really nice. And, and got better throughout the day. Of course, you got the ravines and stuff. There's Deegan. Um, he had the 65 championship wrapped up, so he jumped up and raced the 85 class here in the last round. A lot of jumping around, probably on, in all series on the last last race of the season where uh, they got their points figured out. So a lot of jumping around. Rocks in there on his 65, trying to get through the starting line. I didn't make it back look much, I just kind of stayed out towards the front because I knew I'd be having a hard time getting around during Bryce's race, so I just kind of hung around by the finish line and this uh, this is probably half a mile into the track after they go through the finish line and kind of loop through and go across the field and then loop back around through the pits in this spot. A little log there kicking, kicking kids sideways. Garrett Ferguson. Coming through. I just missed Deegan. I kept missing Deegan coming through. I wasn't really in a good spot. I should have been able to. Should have gotten over far where I could see who was coming. Roxon coming through in the 65 class. I think he was actually ahead of his brother on the first lap. I'm not sure uh, what happened to Ryder. But there's Ryder on his 85 coming through. I believe that's Wiley Tucker. Maybe big, not. Big no, that's Wade here. and Wiley Tucker. He's Try to get both of them in here. Um, there's a tractor pulling guys out all day. That was some guy got stuck. They had to unhook his trailer, so he pulled his trailer over and then got his truck and pulled it over there. And, got him out of the mud again it was it was just the field that was bad as you can see right here in the finish line uh, and really this is uh, late in the race probably with just a couple laps to go you can see that they're not really that muddy coming in 
coming around. Uh, Doc had the lead for most of this race. Ended up grabbing the win. Second, I think, was Devin Star. If I remember right. Here comes Deegan coming through the finish line. Again, I don't know how much SC1 Dustin sprayed on that bike, but it did not look... I mean, I've seen bikes look muddier on a dusty race than that. So, bikes didn't really look that bad. Track was, was making out pretty good. Devin Starnes, I believe he got second, and then Jacob Pullen, a really close third place there. Here comes Roxon coming through. I believe he ended up third in the 65 class, so got a podium in uh, the last race of the season, so that was good. And then here comes Ryder. I didn't have a chance to look to see what place he got, but he was running good all day. Bike a little bit uh, muddier than some of the other guys, but. What did you say about the track? There's a lot of roots and it, they don't look like they'll kick you, but they, they, they will. But how are the ravines? Are they good? Yeah, they're not bad. Did you get stuck anywhere? Yeah. How about you? Did you get stuck anywhere? What? Did you get stuck anywhere? Oh, yeah. This guy just rode my bike up the hill. <laughs> nice. It was Racer, what are you working on, bro? Building a track? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we still need a, a race track. A race track? <laughs> Weston, is this the same property that the parking lot is? Can't be. Huh. It's weird. It's like Narnia. <laughs> There's dust back here. Yep. <laughs> Here we go in Bryce's race. He's down there at the bottom, just to the left of the uh, Gavin. He's in all the pink gear there. Kind of got uh, squished in on, on the start there. 
think he was fifth or sixth, but then got pushed way back, I don't know, seventh or eighth, going into the woods there. So not very good, but I ran down to uh, this tunnel uh, that they run them through. Doc ended up running Sportsman A. He was running way out front for a while. And then uh, Gavin Carmen coming through here, he was, he checked out early and was uh, kind of getting away from everybody. Uh, Grayson Fisher. And then uh, there was a whole train of Sportsman AP and 150 BC guys coming through. I think Bryce was in third coming through the tunnel here, yeah third at this point this was this is about mile mile and a half from the finish line and then there's James Meeks coming through he was in fourth um, and then this I think it's Adrian shot right here I'm not real sure where they were at on that I probably got it mixed in in the wrong spot because Bryce was thinking right behind here or Gavin, sorry, on that one. Then as you can see, uh, Gavin and Grayson are, you know, seconds apart. This was second lap. Bryce coming down through here, second lap, still in third. He was probably 30, 45 seconds behind the the leaders at this point. Um, coming around, that was Pro Hill. I got there just in time to see him climb it. All right, we're uh, about... Well, we're on our second lap. I went over to the Pro Hill. Um, got him coming up the Pro Hill. It looks like Grayson had issues on the hill before the Pro Hill. Bryce got around him, and then so did James. But James was catching Bryce. So this is towards the end of this part of the track. Is towards the end of lap two. So we'll see. Uh, where Bryce and James are after this one. Well, the sun is out. It's drying. The track is actually awesome. The pits are still terrible. But uh, great day of racing. I think 279 in the AM when they left the line. And uh, yeah, we're about 30 minutes into this 90 minute race. So we'll see uh, how things go. second lead right there if not more yeah he's got about a minute on Bryce so a little bit of background on that bridge that they're riding through down there at the bottom there it's actually part of an old uh, factory that made the coca-cola bottles back in the early 1940s I probably got that wrong but um, it was a bottling factory, so back when the Coca-Cola bottles were green, they got the sand from down there, which gave them that green tint. So that's uh, kind of the story behind that bridge. So, so down here at uh, the Pro Hill again, Gavin coming through, and then uh, Bryce was actually moved up into second across. Um, no, this was Bryce was actually in second. This was the next lap, but uh, Gavin Bird and James Meek were coming up on Bryce. Right here, I'm back down at the bridge. You can see that. Um, James had gotten around Bryce. He was a little bit mad. Um, pointing at the two guys that come into the screen here. Uh, I don't know. I think he later pointed out that those two guys were really holding him up and weren't really letting him around. But got to get around him somehow. So uh, Gavin Carmen, James Meek in second, and then Bryce was still holding down third in front of. Uh, Gavin Bird, but um, 
Gavin was coming. Right here, you can kind of see James crash on the hill opposite of Pro Hill. Bryce had just made it up. I ended up missing Bryce coming up the Pro Hill that lap. Doc was kind of in the mix. And then there's Gavin Bird. He had moved up into third. Then James got going again. So we we are now on the last lap, and uh, I'm waiting for Bryce to come over here to the bridge. James crashed on the other side of the pro hill, trying to get up this hill, lost a lot of time. And uh, so that put Bryce up to second, and then uh, now he's just gonna try to chase down uh, Gavin Carmen, who's been leading the whole race. And then Bryce has uh, Gavin Bird behind him. So kind of got his hands full. I'm gonna see if he wants a water. This is kind of a slow spot. Maybe he'll take it. So we'll see, and I'm gonna try to film it. But. Last lap, he's in second and could make up some time. There's a lot of mud holes out there. So one bad line by the overall guy or one bad line by Bryce. And yeah, it could all end up way different. Bird. He found a good line. Bryce is farming. Podium today, still good. <laughs> Thank you, whoever it was. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, black formula helmet, gray with a little bit of green? I, gray and black. Yeah, that might have been Austin. Austin too. He works at Thompson's. I'll have to ask him, because he has a black formula in that gray and green gear. It's not green, it's gray and black. Light hydrogen. Oh. Hmm. Well then, was that Jack's brother? I was my head. That's what I kept thinking, but I passed it. Alright, well, I'll ask Austin anyway. Yeah, the track was amazing. I didn't expect it to be that good. I think it was, like, all new for us, so it was really cool. Yeah, the, the crew was out there doing some work. I can guarantee you that to uh, give you the best track possible. Made it up here. Podium's always a good thing. I know there's some folks that help you out. Let's start saying hi and thank you to them. Uh, God and Jesus for keeping me saved. My parents for taking me to all the races. My brother and my sister... Westfield Power Sports, Blue Crew, Bell Ray, Stacy Mundy Photography, Fly Racing, Jersey Pro, XC Cinema, The Complete Racer, Scott Goggles, and uh, my Uncle Adrian for handing me bottles, my mom as well, and everybody else who was pointing lines out there helped out a lot. Good deal, congratulations there. Third place, Bryce Woodrow. 
what would the end of the season be without getting towed out? It's always a good time. And now it's our turn. Is that gonna slip off there? It's probably gonna slip off there. Maybe not. Oh. season was a good one. Oh, there's Doc. 